Good morning. I've actually pretty late. I've uh, been up for a while, but Omar, uh, Omar last night, we went out for our, we went out for our walk last night and there was like, if you're on my Instagram live stream, you saw there was a straight puppy party outside. We hung out at the puppy party, I played for like a good 30 or 40, good boy Omar, good job. Uh, played for a good 30, 45 minutes and my man was just like done for this morning, he just wouldn't get up. 11 o'clock right now, which is the longest. I feel like I've stayed in bed in a long time. Today is actually, my house is a goddamn wreck because that's what happens pretty much every 12 minutes. So this morning I'm gonna clean this up, more drawing stuff to finish up so I can get these shirts done. And then, dun da 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 Dirty Iron will be, I need to get a fucking haircut too. I really gotta learn how to shave my own head. Like, dick it, I just, ugh, I'm not good at stuff like that, you know? I'm just gonna cut my head to pieces. Yeah, Iron gets here at three. So we'll probably mosey over and see Earn. Mosey. Mm, that's really it, man. Today's kind of low key. Uh, I don't know if I'll go to the shop or not. Start tattooing next week at the shop, I think. I gotta get through these emails. I got a lot of just like, I just got a lot of stuff to do today. So might not be too much vlog footage. We'll see what happens. See how the day unravels. Kinda wanna go to Ikea too and get some things. I don't know. I haven't decided. All right, I'm gonna go play the Omar. Come on. Got this other elevator that's not as far of a walk, but. Sometimes it's full. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, no, I'll see you in a little bit. Come on, you get your daily rubs, it's okay. Bye. Bye. Upstairs? All right. Because some people, I think, think I don't walk Omar. Omar gets like three, maybe four walks a day, don't you? Yeah. And it takes a long time each time because of that. Everyone loves Omi. Huh. Everybody loves you. Yeah. Cause you're lovable. Cause you're a lovable little creature. All right, go to dog stuff. A <sighs> couple of things. A couple of things regarding yesterday. These boosts. Oh, these boosts are for women. Size seven and a half. Wish I could wear these. We got these a long time ago. They're just out for some reason. And but the boost that we got yesterday in the mail. These I actually do already have. So I didn't realize that. Uh, you guys had to tell me which. Might be the signs of a serious problem. But yeah, so shout out to the homie that sent them. I'm gonna reach out and see if he minds me doing a giveaway for them or whatever. We'll take a look and see, because I don't need two pairs of those, technically. If he would rather me keep them, I'll keep them. We'll see what he says. Might be a giveaway on that coming up. Boost Your Bro, Boost Your Bay contest. I've reached out to a winner, but I haven't gotten a response. So if I don't get a response, and as I reached out a while ago. So if I don't get a response in the next little bit, I'll pick the runner up. And then thirdly, 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 <laughs> uh, the wood whisperer that we mentioned yesterday, I think you guys have been blowing him up because he says that my fans are crazy. So he does not actually do installs like that. He just does standalone shit. You know, like tables and chairs and things like that. But um, so that's not gonna work out. Unfortunately, that's okay. If he doesn't do it, he doesn't do it. I understand that completely because you know, people want tattoos all the time that I just simply don't do. So uh, that's all that's going on right now. That's the update. For now, I'm going to roll a joint and I'm gonna go get some salads. I have stuff to make salad in the refrigerator, but I don't have all the stuff to make salad. So I'm gonna walk up to Mad Greens, get a salad, hang out with Omar. Omar. What do you got on your face, man? What do you got on your face? Look, got something on your face. What is that? I don't know. 
Ernie should be here in a couple of hours. So hopefully we'll get to go meet up with Ernie as he pulls in town. Yeah, the day will keep on ticking by, I guess. Peace. Mad green salad. Walnuts, craisins, kale, chicken, cucumbers. That's all that's in there. And I, instead of paying them fucking $80, no offense, Mad Greens, but instead of paying them, you know, a bunch of money for avocado, I have avocados here. So I'll use my own god. Um, and then we're gonna add salt and pepper. The Evo Spam, the deadliest combination in the olive oil world. I don't know if that's a fact. I hear, I hear there's all kinds of really fancy olive oils. And by here, I mean I was watching Shark Tank one where someone was trying to sell this stuff, like this business. And one of those guys, the guy who's a dick, I can't remember his name, he was talking about how he collects olive oil, which made me think there's gotta be Look at all the stuff I got. There's gotta be thousands, like there's gotta be some like hype beast olive oil, right? There's gotta be like a thousand dollar bottle or something. I wonder, I don't know. Come here. Research it. I don't want, I probably shouldn't look into it, honestly. Real quick, well first, what I wore today was the Kith, 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 was the Nice Kicks NMD. This is probably the one of the most coveted NMDs out there. This is much better than probably, in my opinion, yeah, it's like top NMD. Like people want like five, six grand for these friends and family NMDs look like shit. Um, these are better than I think any friends and family in him. Oh, NMD prime knit, prime knit on this is insanely stretchy. Uh, this is a size 13. I could probably wear a 12 and a half. All crazy red and tie dye, happy hippie upper. Nice kicks tab on this side. Other side has the Adidas trefoil. Uh, these are super sick, super, super sick. Really, really hard to find. Um, sizes are basically either been run through or gone. Expect to pay over a th ah, over thousand dollars at least. Probably closer to 15, 12, 1500. Um, definitely super sick shoe. If you can find it in your size, be careful. There's a shitload of fakes, and some of them are really good. So, um, the other thing that I just kind of want to talk about today because it's a question that I get all day, every day, and usually it's who's your plug? How do I get all these shoes? How do I start a collection? Like, do you use add to cart services? What's up with add to cart service? Da -da 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 -da. Let's just go into it. All right. I personally, at this point, rarely have to use an add to cart service. I am generally pretty okay with, you know, I have enough people out there that are looking out for me, enough plugs um, that are looking out for me that it makes it a little bit easier for me. And that came from footwork. That came from building relationships. That came from buying a lot of shoes. No one just picked up the phone, um, sight unseen, called me and was like, hey, here you go. You know, that just doesn't happen. So um, let's start first with add to cart service. Is add to cart service worth it? Is it a scam? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, that greatly depends on who you're dealing with. So just like any other business, it's about building a relationship. Add to cart service is not 100%. No one is full fail proof. A lot of these people, this is their hustle, right? So like you have different levels. Like there's people who run bots and I know a lot of people hate bots, but it's part of the game. So let's just accept it. Most of your resellers have a bot they use personally that they've most likely either built or focused very much on acquiring pairs for themselves, right? These people are resellers. They want to get the shoe as close to retail as possible so that they can maximize profit. We all know. Okay. Some of these people who have begun to run bots start to do it for other people. You know, they realize that sometimes selling shoes is a pain in the ass. And a lot of people don't know what shoes are even going to be cool. They don't know what shoes are going to be in demand. They have no idea. My advice is if you're trying to sell shoes and you don't know what's cool, you might be fucked up in the game. Add to cart service. 
people who have learned how to use bots and proxies to acquire shoes and now they want to sell that service. Now we have to think, if you are hiring a service to do something for you and this person or people are used to doing it for just themselves and they're still doing it for themselves, don't think during an easy drop that the people who are running add to cart services are not trying to acquire as many pairs still. They're just kind of spreading it out a little bit. But you have to think, you have to use common sense and realize whoever's running add to cart service, top priority is gonna go to their own personal shit. Like I don't really believe that you or me, even me sometimes, we're not top priority. You know, so a lot of shit that changes. Like a lot of people guarantee this and guarantee that. And granted, most of them, most of them or all of them should give you your money back if it doesn't succeed. But that's not really the issue, right? The issue is that you didn't get the shoe you wanted and now you're at the mercy of resale. It never hurts, you know, if you're in this and you're willing to pay add to cart service, there's nothing wrong with trying to find someone, you know, again, building a relationship with someone that you can trust uh, and, you know, you earn trust and build trust by just continuing to do business with each other. And you kind of just have to find who works for you. And that, that's kind of basically where it's at. And even if you can find someone smaller, there's less burgers on the grill to flip, you know, and that's just all there is to it. My, my thoughts on add to car is it's fine, you know what I mean? But don't expect it to be foolproof. Adidas is constantly changing things up. You know, granted, they're not, if they really wanted to do away with bots, they absolutely could they could just ban proxies but they don't so understand that like there's a lot of variables that go into buying shoes using a bot there's a lot of bullshit that can go wrong a lot of things that can happen cards get declined proxies can be pieces of shit like what like bots are fucking crap you know and that's another thing like don't think that you can just go out and buy a bot and join the army and cop shoes it's just not how it is like a lot of these people that buy you see like buying a shitload of shoes and acquiring them through bots they spend a lot more money than you think. They are awake a lot longer than you can imagine, you know, doing so. So there's a lot of work that goes into it and that's why resale exists because it's not like, they don't just walk into the store and just buy the shoes. Even people who get shoes early and backdoor the fucking shit are paying a premium and they're just hoping that they can fill that gap by selling the shoe. So it's part of the game and it is what it is. So if you're getting started, is yes, you know, like because of the way the game, and I know like Adidas and all these other companies probably d don't want for, you know, I don't know, I don't necessarily want to say they don't want me to say it, but I, I know that like the bot shit is just kind of like taboo, right? So, but it is, it exists, and I'm not gonna fucking ignore it that it's the, trying to acquire shoes, kind of attacking it from all angles is your best bet. Finding someone that does add to cart service that you can trust that comes highly recommended is one, one tactic. You need to also try to check out menu. If you're close to a store, you also need to try and check out stores, you know, and building those in-store relationships is huge. And that's where finding a plug comes from. Even if you're not somewhere near a store and you have proxies, like people that, you know, go to New York or live in New York or LA or some of these bigger markets, and you're having them stand in line for you, you know, the longer you build a relationship with somebody, the easier it should get, higher chances of a guaranteed pair should exist, and that's how you create a plug. There's no such thing as a plug, There's, you know, without money. I mean, if you got money, then sure, you, you know, your plug is whoever's got the shoe, but a lot of people are trying to get out and spend the least amount possible, and in order to do that, really the key is just building a strong and solid relationship with somebody who's in a position that can get you the shoe, whether that be someone that runs a bot, an add to cart service, someone that camps out, someone that works in a store, whatever it is. But it's really about building a relationship. People who call me or text me or message me like, who's your plug or can you give me a plug? Like, I can't give you my plug because my plugs are my friends. And if I gave you my plug, then I would be in, I'd be fucking myself and not, you know, running the risk of not being able to get the shoe for me so that's not really how it works like it's like saying can i make out with your girlfriend <laughs> it's like no you can't you know that's my thing that's my main advice is honestly you kind of got to pay the piper at first sometimes it's not you know sometimes it's worth just paying fucking resale for some things um, i will say that it's kind of dying down you know like other than things like yeezys and consortium releases most of the stuff unless you just miss your size you generally can get um for retail or at least close to i mean a lot of the stuff that goes up on StockX and goat and slang and all these sites and ultra boost especially and nmds are fairly close to retail you know it's like maybe a hundred like a hundred bucks more which i know for not everybody that's no big deal but it's a lot better than it used to be honestly if you're trying to get plugged up and you're trying to get uh 
in in the game, so to speak. It's really about networking. It's really about building a solid relationship, and it's really about not being a dick. You know, it's like shit costs money. Like these dudes aren't out here doing it for free. You know, like not everybody is out here just to like do you favors all the time. And if you think everyone owes you a favor, it's gonna be a rough road for you for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's my advice. I just wanted to touch on it real quick, and I don't even think that was real quick, but absolutely, uh, no, I don't care who they are. No add to cart service is guaranteed. I don't give a shit, and I and I fuck with all kinds of dudes. A lot of my friends run add to cart services. A lot of my friends run bots, but none of them are guaranteed. You know, some days they wake up and they're like, oh shit, I missed. Don't really buy into the fact that it's always that it's always gonna work out, because it's not. That's what it is, and then other than that, it's basically you're gonna just try to cop a shoe like everybody else, in store or online, and then your third option is having an in-store plug, but I can pretty much tell you, like, for the most part, if you have an in-store plug who is basically risking their job to get you shoes back door or whatever the case, you're probably gonna pay for it. You know, it's like people aren't risking their jobs and their freedom and whatever the fuck else just to get you a shoe that you want, you know? So everything has a value in this world. If you want a shoe and everyone else wants a fucking shoe, you kinda just gotta, you just kinda just gotta play the game. So that's my advice, go out there, build them relationships, get them shoes, and um, yeah, we'll see you later. Hopefully Aaron will be here soon. Call Dirty Aaron on speakerphone. Yo. What up? I'm here, dude. I'm ready. Nothing like animating yourself to the new apartment by moving everything to the third floor with no elevator. Oh, jeez. Breaking up, too. I can't really hear you. Oh, shit. We'll call you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you a little bit, yeah. Then you want to get dinner later or something. Yeah, we could do that. Are you guys moving everything in tonight? I mean, I don't think so, dude. The bed is in the back, so we thought in order to sleep we had to, but we have an air mattress. We might just blow that up because this is, I mean, this yeah. is going to be. And you just drove like 20-some hours. Yeah, dude. And then on top of that, like this thin atmosphere and getting used to the air. Yeah. Running up and down the stairs. Well, um, yeah, I mean, if you want. Also, I have a really heavy-duty air mattress. If you guys oh, want. This one is, too. I okay. appreciate it. This one is, too. This is like a good. It's not like one of those cheap ones. It's like a good air mattress. Okay. I thought maybe it was the air mattress I was sleeping on in your fucking spare room that one time and that's not a good air mattress. Oh no, I no. hope it's not. Because if it is, the two of us can't even fit. So yeah. Maybe well, if so, I got a queen one here you can take. Yeah, maybe I'll borrow that and we'll come get dinner. Yeah, just let me know. I'm just... Break. Yeah, yeah, I'm just editing so if you guys want to come over whenever you get settled. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, this is fucking nuts, dude. It's it's so crazy that I'm here. Like yeah. it's so, it's so, it's so weird, dude. It's so weird that I'm like, it's just weird that this is home. It's yeah. The, well, let me buy you dinner. Get settled. Let me, I'll roll a joint. Let me buy you dinner. All right. All right. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Peace. peace.